Hi everyone and welcome back to Inside Bristol. I'm your host Sheridan Nichols and we're going to leave you today with some tips on public speaking. I know a lot of times when I'm out and about in the community some of you will come up to me and say oh how do you do that? How do you sit up there and to start talking and being under the lights and the camera. And my best answer for you who might be a little bit nervous or think that this up here might be a scary place to be is really just to do your research. I think 80% of Americans or just people in general, 80% are scared to get up in front of people and speak and give presentations. But the reality is our jobs, most of our jobs, no matter what you're doing, calls for you to get up at some point and speak to everyone. So some tips for doing that that I would give you would be just to make sure that you really do your research on what you're talking about. So much of the nervousness energy that happens inside of you comes about when you don't really know what your topic is. So make sure that you know your topic, what you're speaking about, and then I like to tell people, just set it up like you would a paper when you were in school. You don't need to write it all out. It can be extemporaneous, which means more natural, but it needs to complete, or it needs to have certain components. It needs to have an introduction, a body, and then a conclusion. And in your introduction portion of your speech or your presentation, you wanna make sure that you have an attention getter. So some interesting fact right off the top. You want to introduce your name first and last, and then you need sort of that thesis statement, I like to call it, or your big central idea. What is, what is it that you're gonna talk about? And then you wanna make sure that you have a few speaking points to back up what your message is. And then you just divide the body of your paper with those three speaking points that will basically all tie into your general message. And then at the end, in your conclusion, I always suggest to people you wanna go ahead say in conclusion or in summary or this is the end of my great presentation you know however you want to end it let people know that it's ending and then you want to let them know you know that i've told you about these three components and then i think a great way to end is to try and tie in that beginning attention getter and tie it in at the end and if you can do that you'll have like a very well completed presentation or speech and even if you don't think that you've got the best delivery or you get a little nervous if you can prepare it in that outline way, you will surprise yourself and you will knock their socks off. And I know you'll do a great job. So hopefully that has answered some questions and at least given you some information to help you get maybe not necessarily in front of a camera or under some lights, but at least to be able to get up in your jobs or your careers or you know, you're in front of your families and make you feel a little bit more comfortable when you do so. But that's it for today. There's our fun tip for the day on how to get up and speak in front of people. We really appreciate you tuning in and we will look forward to, for you joining us next time.